So I'm going to show you around our bedroom. I thought it's been so long since I did anything about the home and we've got so much new stuff. We've put a lot of effort, I would say, over the last few months just to make it really ours again because our sort of style changed and there was stuff that just wasn't working in the house when we bought it. And we've been here about six years now. <laughs> so it was time to sort it out. So the main thing up here in the bedroom, we're going to start up here because we loved the size of this bedroom. I always film up here but you just see one tiny little corner of it. So I was like let's show them where I am when we're chatting most weeks. So the main thing for us was this room we know it was big enough to be like our guest room which we never had in any house before. It was always like blow up beds in the lounge and our parents actually slept on blow up beds in the lounge when they used to visit us which is really bad. Um, so when we moved out here we were like right, great this is going to be brilliant for us so that was our biggest criteria and now that all of our kids are even older we sort of needed to upgrade our sort of guest offering as well. So we've got a brand new sofa bed this video is sponsored by Emma Sleep um, and they have these gorgeous sofa beds which I had no idea about actually and they've got the same quality obviously Emma mattress so our guests can get a really really decent night's sleep and I love being up here to work and it gives me a sort of hangout zone as well so it's going to be really interesting I'm going to style that up and show you how beautiful they are because they're lovely colours as well I love the colour of ours it's like an oat and then the extra storage that we got to kind of help me with my floor drove um, you will see a lot of couple arguing um, and just that then I'm going to accessorise because I haven't accessorised yet up here it's a bit of a blank canvas so I'm going to do a little thrifting and see what I can find so yeah come along and before I start <laughs> take you back in time a couple of days ago where me and my husband attempted a big declutter it is a shock guys so <laughs> don't judge uh, but it was really really good to do and now I'm so thrilled that we've done it but yeah it was a challenge for me I'm a bit of a uh, clothes hoarder I would say so we started this project a couple of days ago by first picking up my floor drobe, sorting it all out. We needed more clothes storage, each of us. So we bought two new sets of drawers. Henrix actually goes over in this corner so he can have some more sweater space and things like that because we were just outgrowing everything that we had. But then this corner used to be a bit of a junk corner. You've probably never seen it. It had all this stuff, just stuff in baskets everywhere, like all my hair stuff. I just seemed to put books. We took all those to the charity shop, found some stuff that could easily be in the bathroom, shower cap anyone. Um, and I even found a little attachment to my hair dryer, which I've been looking for for so long. And as I always say to the kids, if we're looking for something, just tidy up. Um, it was a really, really easy project. The kids just milled around. We just dedicated the whole afternoon to it, getting it all ready. Happy Father's Day 2022. Found the card finally, Henrik. And it's at that stage when it always looks so awful before it looks better. Guests were arriving, so we were really ready to set up our brand new Emma Sleep sofa bed for them. Nice day out there. Yeah. This was Henry's lockdown stance, surveying the road. All behaving for now. <laughs> oh God. Um, Henrik is very prolific on the road WhatsApp group. I am not. I've, I've copped off um, once. You're, you're now to in your a. Dismay. You're now in a group, a man group. Got a book club. So one worry I had was, will I get a really decent quality sofa bed upstairs? But it comes in all these sections, so you can take it apart downstairs, carry it up, and you don't need many tools to put it together. It's so user-friendly, it just all slots together without using loads of hammering, it slides in, and the quality is really fantastic, just like all of the Emma Sleep products. I love the color of ours, we went with oats, but you can also get a gray, and it's got the same covers, all that detail that you expect from an Emma mattress product, as well as the 200 night trial and the 10 year guarantee. It comes with two Emma Sleep mattresses, which are the best on the market, I swear by ours, we sleep so well, and they just slot into the covers. You have one which becomes like your sofa base so it's a really comfy sofa it could easily be downstairs and the second one goes underneath in the drawer so when you pull it out you have this really stunning big and comfortable night sleep on a sofa bed it's the best quality I've ever seen and I want to have something that's really decent for when guests come because they stay a long time when they come either over from Sweden or my nieces are coming and they're spending a lot more time here and they're growing so I know I want them to feel at home and have a really cozy space 
So Summer and Lottie are here. It is actually Lottie's birthday on Valentine's Day and Emma Sleep have a huge Valentine's Day sale on at the moment. You can also get 5% off using my code, which I'll put on screen and I will link Emma Sleep Valentine's Day discount in the description box below. We set up a little Valentine's Day sleepover and they had so much fun. Evelina just loves being with her cousins. I adore being with my sister's little girls. We had so much fun, popped on a movie, opened the snacks and spent a really lovely evening together. And they stayed all weekend, which was ideal quality time. Now I'm just thinking how I can style this area so it feels like zoned rather than just kind of a blanket area. So let's see what I can find. I'm actually going to thrift around my house. Do you ever do that? When I'm doing up a room and I've sort of spent my budget now, <laughs> then I just go around picking items from other places. So let's see what we can find. So I wanted to try and find an area rug. I've got this one in the kids' room and I really like the colours of it. It just sort of sits in the corner here. I can't wait to do their room tours. I've got these linen ottoman storage, which I'm obsessed with. But the rug is just too small, even though I like the colours. So it went back where it started. So I went into the bathroom. We had a bathroom makeover, which I can't wait to show you. And I found this print that I've had for years. I got this on a shopping trip with my sister. I thought it'd be really nice upstairs because you've got this kind of awkward little side bit now above Henrik's drawers. I found another rug I remembered that behind the sofa bed I've put all my clothes in storage in the eaves and I remembered seeing a rug in there from years ago I think we used to have it in Freddie's bedroom so I thought I'd give it a try because rugs are expensive it's not perfect but I don't mind it I like the color it matches the sofa so it will work for now downstairs I was looking for a vase I like these ones in our hallways I might keep them there but I don't need two here so I'm going to try taking this one upstairs and then little Mr Plant over here I love having plants in my bedroom so he's going to make the move upstairs as well I think this looks really pretty I ended up switching it out for the yellow one because the colours work so much better but now this little corner looks so pretty and dressed and the plant looks really really cute next to the sofa and this whole area now without spending any extra money suddenly looks very glam and stylized. I really like it. Looking for a little table. This is next to Freddie's bed. This is my 13 year old wagon wheel wrappers. What's going on? So I thought I'll take this table for me because he's not using it. Pop it up there. And that looks quite nice rather than a bigger table. And I've got some books that I just keep under my bed. <laughs> so I popped those there and it's sort of inviting like a little area to read or to journal. And I think it's come together so nicely. Okay, so we're just going to show Henrik and see what he thinks. So obviously, baby, would be nicer to buy new stuff. This is just with stuff that we had. Okay. Okay. Aloha. <laughs> oh, nice. What do you think? Nice. Much better. Ah. Oh. If you sit down here on the bed. That. So it should have looked like four years ago, five years ago. And are you yeah. missing the floor drape? It looks like a whole lounge. I love it. Love it. So for the rest of the room, we've got this new wicker headboard a little while ago now and I really, really still love it. And I want to keep these wreaths above there because my sister made them for us. And we're trying to go with kind of oat and black theme throughout the whole house. We've got a lot of matching furniture, like our bedside tables. I love these lamps, they're really nice. And then this is my new drawers. So I now have so much extra storage than I had before. I just had a tiny wardrobe, but the whole room now just seems to flow. It much more matches the style of the rest of the house, which it wasn't before. And we've got this whole new guest area where I think when people come and stay they're going to feel really welcome and invited and I'm just really thrilled of it there are some mistakes up here like we've got these lights but they're too small and we've never painted the paint around and I hate our curtains there's not even a proper curtain rail up here and why do we wait so long to do things just need to rip this out get a rail I did buy the curtains in the sales um I got these from H&M but I bought the totally wrong size because you only just grab something when you see it and I love the tassels and I thought these will look amazing but didn't measure them properly so I need to get those hemmed and put them up so I can really finish the room but what do you guys think I really hope you like it I love it so I'm happy I actually think this area looks so much smarter now like if I had friends around I could even be like let's go upstairs for that would be random come up to my boudoir <laughs> <laughs> but it's so much nicer. I can film content here. I can come up here and relax and do my journaling and my meditation zone. So 
I'm really, really happy. The floor drobe did have to go, Henry's been extremely patient. So if you would like to see more house tour bits, let me know because you saw little snippets, but there's so much change downstairs as well. And the whole house just feels like it's coming together. And I'm actually starting to feel really, really at home here. Um, I'm starting to really enjoy being in my home environment alone, which is a big deal for me. Um, I've never really had that feeling before. So doing all these little things and creating these zones is really helping me out. And if you're looking to upgrade your sofa bed as well, then the Emma Sleep one is such a find because you get all the mattresses included with it and there's that top, top quality, especially if someone's going to be using it a lot or you've got kids or you just want your guests to feel that they can really, really stay and have a decent night's sleep, finally. <laughs> Sorry, parents-in-law. Uh, so I absolutely love the mattresses. I've got them on every single one of our beds and we sleep so well, so much better to have a really, really quality night's sleep. is crucial and they have a big sale on. I'll link it in the description box below. You can click on there and then use my code for an extra 5% off. So it's time to invest for Valentine's Day gift for you all from us. Uh, thank you, Emma Sleep, and I will see you all very soon on my next video. Bye, guys.